The future and the new normal will be far more tech driven than it is now. And you cannot afford to stay behind. Yes, I mean you watching. Technology affects everybody, whether you have a background in tech or not. We are all affected in one way or another. And in this video, I will share my thoughts on why I think everyone should make an effort to understand even the basics of tech. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I have been off camera for a while. Life got in the way, <laughs> but I'm back. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Nick Verd. I am the voice for those who yearn to upskill, innovate, disrupt the status quo and recreate themselves in a world that's fast changing. I am also the author of the best-selling book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. I am absolutely in love with what I do. And if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button below and remember to ring the bell so that you will be notified whenever I put out new content. Bot Handy uses AI to understand objects like a glass cup or ceramic plate, taking note of their shape and materials to work as your trusted partner. Bot Handy can move around and do things like set the table or put away groceries, it flips the script on what a robot in your home could look like. Good job! From here on, our relationship with technology will only deepen as larger segments of the population will come to rely more on digital connections for work, education, healthcare, uh, daily commercial transactions and essential social interactions. You know, that era where the topic of technology was, was an exclusive uh, subject for a particular set of people is now over. And one of the things that I mentioned in my book is that we need to completely discard the notion that this topic of automation or robotics or artificial intelligence is only for experts or nerds or IT, I, IT graduates, you know. This unprecedented technology requires people, especially youth, from diverse disciplines and backgrounds to join the conversations. Otherwise, we are doomed. Many of us think that knowing how to use a cell phone, sending a text message or WhatsApp message or switching on a computer or having your fridge and your microwave connected together via Bluetooth or, or spending a large sum of money on the latest iPhone, Many think that that means you are your tech savvy, it means you, you know what technology is all about, but no, that's really not the case. There are so many people with phones that are smarter than them, you know. Having the let latest gadget doesn't necessarily mean that you are tech savvy, but it's the beginning. Of course, you need that to be able to understand technology. How emerging technologies are affecting work and life in general needs to become a conversation for everyday people. No matter your age, your experience, your background, or your current skills, you need to make it okay to have the, we need to make it okay to have these conversations. I think that parents need to start having the conversation with their kids about how uh, automation, robotics, or artificial intelligence are taking over jobs that used to be done by human, human beings, right? Uh, but instead, most parents continue feeding their children the same information, the same narrative that their parents fed them 50 years ago or 30 years ago or 60 years ago, you know, which is the narrative is to go to school, work hard, get good grades, get a certificate, get a job and live happily ever after. You know, this narrative continues to be the anthem for many, yet even though there is evidence everywhere that this is no longer the case. So many people go to school nowadays and all they come back with is student loan. So you don't necessarily have to know the technicalities of how artificial intelligence works unless you are in that field, but you have to know how it's going to impact your industry or your business, you know, rather than sitting back and crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. You need to be proactive, you know, you need to start researching on which industries or, or jobs artificial intelligence will wipe out in the near future and which in new industries and new jobs it will create as well. 
that way you empower yourself you know with that type of knowledge and if you're a student you need to start asking yourself if the certificate you are currently pursuing will still be relevant in the next three to five years you know you have to research on how technology will change that particular field in which you are now and if you are blessed to still have a job ask yourself the hard question the position you're currently holding will it still be relevant to that particular organization in the next three to five years ask yourself if what you are currently doing can easily be can easily um, be automated ask yourself if you need to upskill or if you need to move to an entirely different industry you know ask yourself the hard questions have an uncomfortable conversation with yourself about the impact of these emerging technologies in the job market uh, you have to disrupt yourself or you will be disrupted because there is no neutral ground the reason I titled my book disrupt yourself or be disrupted is because I was disrupted myself you know, I didn't see it coming, but I got disrupted. I had a job back in the day and I was very comfortable in the fact that the, 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 the contract assigned stipulated that it was a permanent contract of employment. You know, I bought into the illusion of job security until reality hit me in the face when I least expected it. You know, one day I went to work and my boss called me in for a meeting, which was just in my mind, a usual meeting as before. But in that meeting, I was told that the company is restructuring and they have decided to let me go. And that was it. I was retrained. I was laid off and I felt my world crashing into tiny little pieces. And so for more on that story of how I lost my job and how I rebuilt my life after that, you can check the video on my channel. I'll actually put the link somewhere. The COVID-19 pandemic has speed up technology adoption across Africa. Tech acceleration has gotten even faster as the necessity of social distancing is causing people to spend more time on the internet. You know, people who never expected nor ever wanted to use digital technologies to communicate with others or do online shopping or work, you know, are now being forced to use these technologies because of the pandemic. Um, from first world countries right down to developing countries, across sectors, technology is becoming deeply integrated into our everyday lives. Hence my point, you have to know at least the basics of how it, it will affect your life. Every day, our lives are more intertwined with technology than ever before. From ordering food to staying in touch with family and friends to running a business or being an educator, technology is integrated into everything and will only keep increasing. So if you are struggling to catch up now, the bad news is that things will only get worse and more tech intense in the future. As I mentioned in my book, you know, a five-year-old today, for example, a five-year-old kid today, you know, swiping on his or her parents smartphone will demand a much more convenient way of doing business in the next 10 to 20 years you know kids that are growing up in the digital world with smartphones cannot survive in a brick and mortar environment the older generation you know grow up playing down the streets and hanging out with friends in the marketplaces but kids today are growing up with almost all of their toy and play things on a tiny screen you know, while hanging out on social media with their friends. So this transition is happening right now and even right here in Africa. This means that the technological revolution and economic shift in Africa is impending and will happen faster than many are imagining. And COVID-19 is already proof of that with what is happening on the continent. So kids being raised with technology will work and do business with technology. So. This is to prove the point that things are not going to get any better. We are not going back to the brick and mortar system. No. Samsung BotCare uses AI technology to take care of all the little details in your life by recognizing and understanding your behaviors to be a better robotic assistant and a companion. You've been on your computer too long. How about stretching and taking a short break? The conference call is scheduled in a few minutes. BotCare knows your schedule and your habits and can remind you of the conference call you have with colleagues coming up in 15 minutes. 
So as you can see, technology is here to stay. So not being the most technologically aware person in this era will put a damper in your career, your business, and your life in general. So if you are constantly in fear of tech or you're constantly rejecting new platforms or new softwares, this is the time for you to change your perspective because the future and the new normal will be far more tech driven than it is now. I've already mentioned that, you know, that that's why it's important for you to try to be uh, on the, to see the positive side of technology. You know, while there are downsides to technology, of course, but without it, you may not be able to reconnect with friends and discover new opportunities online. Without tech, you might not be able to know what the weather would be like tomorrow or in a week, you know. You might not be able to know what the weather would be like if you are traveling to a different country. Um, well, unless you have connections in the weather department in that country. But still, knowing your way around the internet can get you faster results rather than calling someone and asking, how is the weather in your city? It's time we deconstruct some of the big barriers that keep people from becoming tech savvy. And it is one of the big barriers is this idea that you have to be a tech expert or you have to have some sort of background in technology or that you have to become an IT expert. No, that's really not the case, you know. And I always use myself as an example because I am not the smartest person in the room, all right? I have no background in tech. I am not an academician by any stretch of imagination. I don't even have a degree. Yet I put myself out there, you know, to be able to understand tech and just how the world works. Whatever I know today about tech is things I've learned on my own. Prior to losing my job, the only tech that I knew was to switch on my computer and work or use my cell phone to send messages and make calls. That was all I knew. But I changed all of that after I became very curious to understand this world of technology. You know, I expanded my horizon. I wanted to know more. And when it comes to the technical aspects of technology, of course, I don't know. I turn to experts for that. And the knowledge of it, and, but the knowledge of it and how it affects my life is something that I know, you know. And you too can do the same. You can understand how these things uh, uh, impact your life. You don't necessarily have to become a, a tech expert to know. And I sh shout out to my friends that always rescue me when I get lost on the streets of the technical aspects of technology. So stop giving yourself excuses. Technology affects everyone. And so if you believe you can't do something, that kind of thinking removes any reason to try. Like anything new, technology provides the potential for immense benefit as well as challenges and as well as opportunities. You know, the fourth industrial revolution, together with the COVID-19 pandemic, continues to shift paradigms. This revolution is characterized by a range of new technologies that are blending the physical world, the digital world, and even the biological worlds together. The impact is across disciplines and economies and industries. So no one and no industry is left unaffected by technology. The disruption and the resulting shift means that we live in a time of great promise as well as great peril. And in my book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted, I mentioned that you cannot stop the fourth industrial revolution. Nobody can stop this revolution, but you can influence its direction and the impact it has in your own life. You don't have to focus on the threat, focus on the opportunities. You definitely cannot afford to be left behind. You need to adopt a new mindset that sets you free from, you know, uh, technophobia or mainstream beliefs that often holds you back. And if you start looking for evidence that will support why you cannot uh, become tech savvy, you'll find it. And the opposite is also true. If you're looking for evidence of why this is possible and you can embrace technology and become part of the digital economy, you will also find that evidence in abundance. So be solution driven. Throw yourself on the internet like I did and start learning. The internet is a school on its own. There are so many free resources on the internet. There are so many videos on YouTube you can watch, you know, 
There are even free online courses you can take to empower yourself so that you can be part of the digital economy. You know, digital is here to stay. So it's either you learn or you will be left behind. There are no two options about it. So many of us, especially women, we go online to learn about makeup and fashion and latest hairstyles and all of that stuff. And so if we can learn how to look cute online, we can also learn how to future-proof our careers, future-proof our businesses in the digital economy. Jim Rohn said, if you really want to do something, you'll find a way. And if you don't, you'll find an excuse. So what is it going to be for you? Are you going to find an excuse or you'll find a way? For more on understanding the basics of technology and how it's going to impact your life, you can get my best-selling book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. It's available on Amazon and on my website. I'll share the links in the description below. I will appreciate if you can share this video with someone so that more people can be inspired. And don't forget to hit the like button below and leave a comment as well. Let me know your thoughts on this subject. Let's have a conversation. Let me know what you think. And so thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.